Bridge game is great, sir. Eighth year, it grows every single year, which is fantastic for us. Uh, the quality of the mentors still blows me away, and the quality of the young mentees coming up also blows me away. Um, to see people come here and then get jobs or get roles or get experience, it's just it's the best feeling in the world for us. Anyone seeing this now visually on social media and the impact of it will understand and will think, I wish I was there. And, and so we have to make it bigger and better because I always want to do better than the year before. And doing better is just having, you know, the increase the quality of mentors to get another two great hosts, to make sure the workshops are functioning, functioning properly and also to understand young people and their wants and needs. And I think that's what we're giving back is we're giving back to them what they really want and I think that's what makes for a really, really good day. Events like these, they're, they're so beneficial. They just really get you, they get you out there speaking to people you've never spoke, speak to before. Um, I've come, personally I've come back here this year for advice, um, just for how I can really kick on how I did last year. I've got a role at the Premier League, uh, so it's working with the games programme, so delivering the games programme at the academy system, and to have, have a really understanding of how the, the players are brought through and what, what they have to undergo and stuff like that, so it's just like delivering that to so part of the events team. It's, it's great man, you get to go places you never really thought you'd go to, like work with people you don't think you'd ever work with, so yeah, it's, it's Raising game, it's, it's unreal. We were reminiscing like with the other mentors like what we had to do to get to this point and we sacrificed a lot. We did a lot of unpaid jobs. I'm not saying that it's easy now, but it's easier. I mean, we've, we've just come a long way and to pass that on to the next generation and have easier access, that means a lot to me, the fact that we can facilitate that. You're probably not going to sail through this experience in life um, easily. There are going to be times where the doors shut in your face or someone's going to tell you you're not good enough. Um, what's important is you can see here today that we've all had the knockbacks yet we're still here. Oh, It's been an amazing day this. I, I'm, I really am surprised. I mean you, you just said about the, uh, the quality of the, uh, of the mentees. I've sat down today and I should be speaking to seven people. Uh, and up to now I've spoken to 12 because there's a real genuine interest in getting involved in football and for the likes of me who's a mentor with quite literally 70 odd other people doing the same thing there's a real clear pathway for young people to get involved in sport particularly football so it, yeah it's been terrific. Fundamentally there's, there's, there's so many jobs within the sport so even if you can't go in and get that career in what you wanted to achieve in the first place you might want to stay in, in the sport industry and you might want to stay within a job that is kind of close to it or whatever so who, who knows you, we've got many talents as sportsmen have got many talents and um, it's just about exploring them i've been coming i think this is seventh year now um and i work for the independent i've worked for the daily mirror the premier league crystal palace and i put that down to the networking the people that i met the advice that i got from major game when i first came in so I came back this year to gather some more information to kind of just show that year after year you can always be learning something new. So I attended the same workshops, although I went to other workshops, I revisited the ones I went to last year because I now know my services that I'm delivering. It's brilliant. It's something I wish I had when I was starting out in the industry. I would contact people by sending them emails, I'd phone people up, I wouldn't get that contact with people face to face and I think it's so amazing and I hope people who are younger understand that you know just all people coming into the industry really understand the significance of it because it's it's a fantastic opportunity to get completely up close and personal with people who you wouldn't normally get time with. Significance of Razor Game is massive for me. Uh, it's a date I look for every year as soon as possible because I want to make a commitment to it. It's a phenomenal event in regards that mentees uh, people that want to be in the industry that it's so difficult to get into get, if you like, the best quality mentors they can. Um, that didn't happen when I was trying to get into the industry. So uh, anybody that wants to get into the industry, raise your game, uh, is the place to be. When I moved to London in 2002, I was nowhere near the people who I was aspiring to be. I couldn't get anywhere near them on social media. I couldn't get anywhere near them in terms of actually speaking to them to find out about how they got into the industry. So the fact that Kick It Out have actually organised this conference where people like me now, who I'm on the other side now as a mentor, can help people and give them advice and provide that connection and bridge that gap that is getting smaller and smaller now to help them in terms of advice, 
give them contacts and help them get into employment. It, it, it's a huge deal and I urge people who are watching this now and haven't been involved and want to get involved to sign up. My dad doesn't believe I'm, I'm up here speaking. Uh, of course you can. Is so. the way we can get the back screen on again? <laughs> Things we do for people, Ryan. Yeah, I know. <laughs> again, you've got to have the best next to do it. amazing. OK, it's just... Uh, you <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, Dad! Hi, Dad! <laughs> Thank you very much.